Chappers here. Welcome to another instalment of three awesome rock licks. Today with three different guitars. Um, most of them taken from a couple of videos I've shot previously and people have mentioned in the comment section below that they liked them and wanted to learn them, which is really cool. So if you hear me play a lick and you can isolate it to a specific part of uh, a video that I'm, I'm on playing, let me know, drop it in the comment section, chances are I might teach it too. So let's start with lick number one, once I've turned my amplifier on. is in the Dorian mode. Dorian is a minor scale, but it's got a major sixth um, note. So here's the shape of scale that this lick is contained within. Here's the lick. So we're starting off by kind of mixing the Dorian notes with a couple of the little blues concepts. First thing is to take our swearing finger and we're going to take the 14th fret G string and bend it up. So we're bending it to the next available scale note which is the B string 12th fret. And then we're also playing that note which is something that happens a lot in rock and blues music. You bend the note to the next available scale note and then hit that scale note. See it all the time. We're then going to take our third finger to the B string 15th fret and then we're going to come up first finger 12th fret E and then I'm going to use my second finger on the 14th fret E string. So, so far we've got this. And it's this note on the 14th fret 12th, sorry, it's this note on the 14th fret on the E string which is really giving away the Dorian vibe of this lick. It's a two, not particularly Dorian in origin, but it's in the Dorian mode. Uh, and it's definitely not a pentatonic note, because if it had been pentatonic, I would have done this. Which you can immediately hear as being something. It's a, it's a modal vibe. So, next step, take our third finger to the 15th fret on the B string, first finger, 12th fret E string, bring it back up to the 12th fret B string, and then 15th fret B. So what you've done is a little kind of picking pattern. Uh, and I've got me using this first finger to bar and roll over the E and B strings. So, so far you've got this. So from here, we're just gonna take the swearing finger, or second finger in your left hand, to the G string uh, at the 14th fret, leave it down there and pick it, and I want you to hammer on and then pull off with your third finger. And then pull off the second finger to your first finger, which will be left in position on the 12th fret. So you get this. This will be much easier if you're muting the idle treble strings and bass strings with the fingers of the right hand and the fleshy part of the thumb underneath as well. So, so far you've got this. And to finish this off, slide that 12th fret all the way up two frets to the 14th fret and then pull off the string and then touch any harmonic you want on the G string. I'm just choosing to use the 5th fret here. So you get this. And then you can just dip the bar a little bit so that sounds really kind of 80s and cool. Try a different harmonic. Now, of 
course, you don't need to play this fast. You just need to fit it into whatever the practical situation is. So if it's something that's a bit slower, you can slow it down. Here's an example of how that might work. Now, lick two is another modal lick. And this time I'm basing it kind of in the Locrian mode. Now, if you know much about modes, you'll know that Locrian is uh, one of the diatonic major modes. There are seven of them. Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. And Aeolian is your minor scale, the natural minor scale. And two semitones, or a tone, or two frets above, is where you find Locrian. So I think I'll teach this to you in F sharp, so that if you're playing, if you're playing in E minor, playing your pentatonic rock licks, you can play this if you hit an F sharp chord. So for example, if you're playing stuff like this chord is an F sharp and it really is the Locrian section of that rhythm. So when you hit that F sharp chord, you could put out of the bag this really cool little kind of diminished lick. And then when it's back into the... Or anything in E minor. Basically, that's how I'd apply this. I'd whack it on that F sharp chord. So here's the lick uh, in a bit of a close-up. Starting with our sweary fingers, we're going to start up here, F sharp, which is the 14th fret. And here's the repetitive pattern you're going to repeat repetitively. Nice and easy. So I pick down on that 14th fret with my swearing finger. My first finger's on the 12th fret. I'm going to hammer down and pull off 15th fret with my third finger. So back up and then back down and hammer. So we're going to repeat that section up, three strings, and the way we repeat this is we go along a semitone and down a string, and do exactly the same thing. Along a semitone, down a string. So what you're seeing here is this little shape emerging. Step up, along a semitone, down a string. My first finger is on the 13th fret, a longer semitone down a string. See that? It's exactly the same shape, three times in a row. But when we get here, the third shape, we're going to follow an arpeggio. So the second finger comes down here, 16th fret B string. First finger comes down, 14th fret E string. And then my third finger finishes on the 17th fret E string. And if you want to sound well cheeky, you can go up one, two, three fret, and then you can bend it, and it'll sound insane. <laughs> That's lick two. Okie dokie, lick number three. Um, this actually isn't a lick. <laughs> This is a riff, and what I've noticed a lot of on YouTube is this discrepancy between, uh, or confusion, between what a lick and what a riff is. Now, I don't want to teach anybody's grandma how to suck eggs, which is a phrase we use in England for some reason, but let me just briefly explain the difference between a riff and a lick. So, a lick would be a small phrase that you would use during a solo. So something like a, um, a small piece of, of music that you would use in a solo and, for example, a lick would be something like... That's a lick. Or... That's a lick. Or... That's a lick. A riff is a repeated figure 
used in a section of a song. So it's body of song, not solo. So for example, this that I'm about to teach you is me playing a riff, but I'm tapping it instead. But I got asked to teach it, and I guess you could use this to create licks in, in a way. So here's the riff it comes from. So very much a riff, not a lick, but anyway, here's lick number three. And by the way, I'm using a coil tapped um, situation for this tone. Here it goes. So all I've done is played the lick, the riff, but I'm using finger tapping rather than a pick. And it's just an interesting way of doing things. All of the tapping is focused on the 12th fret because I'm playing in the key of E minor, therefore all of the open strings work, and therefore all of the 12th frets work as well. And let me talk you through it. We start with two taps and then pull off the open string. It helps if you rest the palm of your hand kind of around the horn of the guitar. Uh, obviously you can't rest your hand on the E string because otherwise you'll, you'll mute the sound that you're after, but you can rest it up here. And then all I'm going to do is hammer and hammer and I'm going 3rd fret, 5th fret. When you hammer and pull, make sure that you pull this way. <laughs> because otherwise, if you flick down, you're likely to hit the idle strings below you, and that will just give you noise and be really quite annoying. So the next step is to travel down to the A string and hammer at the 12th fret, and leave it there while I position my next note with my left hand, which is here at the fifth fret A string. So then pull off that note, to the 5th fret, which I'm holding down, and then hammer down on the 7th fret. So this is what you've got. I'll do it one more time. Obviously, I'm not doing it in tempo to isolate and show you, but here it is to speak. And then the same thing happens again, I'm going to tap down D string, hold that note, and I'm going to go to the 7th fret, release, and then hammer down a tone above at the ninth fret, I think that's ninth. yeah. So you get this. And from here, all I'm going to do is come up a pentatonic scale. So pull off to the 7th. Little finger here on the 10th, 7th on the A string, little finger on the 10th on the E string. Not quite sure how I play those notes, let me find out. I'm just hammering, so there's no picking, it's just a hammered situation. If you did, please subscribe. It would really help me out, mean an awful lot. And uh, Luna says hello, take it easy. <laughs> I've been Rob Chapman. And you can express yourself and you can use your technique correctly. I actually just found the footage of when I actually learnt to scream, so I can literally show it to you now. I worked out how to scream! We were recording the vocals for Centred and One, in particular Flower of Life, and, uh, and the tune Centred and One, which is, in my opinion, the best tune on the entire EP.